Hey everybody, welcome back to Jack Games. Uh, today's Saturday showcase. It's Saturday, and it's time to do a showcase. And uh, got one package that goes along with it. Uh, one of them is an upgrade. One of them is new to the collection. Uh, so I'm number one because I'm the only one that collects this set. I don't know what my fascination with it is with it, but uh, most of them have been have had to been have had to be self submissions. So it's like a waste of a box. So here's the envelope that was inside that massive box. And uh, I'm sure as you read in the title, today we're going to go over the my 2014 Topps Chrome Autograph uh, collection. Like I said, I'm number one because I'm the only one. Uh, what number is it? 213. So I have over 50% of the set. So uh, the Eric Ebron was an upgrade. This was my 9. Upgraded it to a 10. Then we have a Zach Mittenberg. And a nine passing. So, uh, if you're watching my other videos, you know, you know I like Topps Chrome. So, no surprise that I collect Topps Chrome. And uh, like I said, uh, I'm missing some of the big boys from this set. Uh, just there's the dryer. Not willing to put up the money yet. I'd rather fill in some of the holes. But Henry Jossy and a nine. Uh, autograph. These are all the base. I don't have any parallels or anything like that. So I just want the base auto. I want the nine. Uh, Bruce Ellington and a nine. Mike Davis and a ten for the Raiders. Cody Hoffman for the Redskins and a nine. Some of these people's signatures, like, holy cow, look at that thing. That's not a good signature, like, at all. Have a Aaron Murray and a ten. Pretty sure that was a self submission. Like I said, most of these, like, eighty percent of these are self submissions, so. I have a CJ <laughs> Ferrosky, Ferrosky of the Texans and a nine. I mean, I'm sure half these people don't even play. So, uh, Coney Early and a nine. Uh, was he even drafted? Oh, Panthers. There it is. A little Panther symbol. Duh. Panthers. I have a Kevin Norwood and a nine for the uh, Seahawks. This is uh, the one I was talking about in the other video. The AJ McCarron and Jim and 10. I uh, bought this raw and it came back in a 10. So I was uh, pretty happy with it. People want a lot of money for his auto rookies and stuff. For someone who's never even like... I mean, I think he started a game, but he's he's not like you know a starter. So, but uh, so the gym mint ten. Next up, we have Brandon Coleman and a gym mint ten. The Seahawks. We have Andre Williams and a gym mint ten. For the Giants. I have a Ha Ha Clinton Dix and a Jim Minton for the Packers. Well, I mean, I definitely have some of the starters, but nothing. No OB, OBJ or Derek Harmon's not paying the money. I have a Jurek McKinney, McKinnon, and an 8 for the Vikings. I have a Bishop Sankey and a Jim at 10 for the Titans. I have a Stephen Moores or Stephen Moores for the Jaguars and a Jim at 10. I 
have a David Fails and a Jim and 10 for the Bears. Arthur Lynch, Jim and 10, Dolphins. Have a Scott Crichton for the Vikings and a Jim and 10. Austin, Stefan Jinky, and a nine for the Buccaneers. Jordan Lynch, Bears, Jim and Ten. Uh, Troy Nicholas, and a nine for the Cardinals. Lanch Seastruck for the Redskins and a nine. Lachey, maybe. Never heard of him. The only thing that's kind of lame about collecting the set is that you don't even know who half the people are. Have a Pierre Desir and a Jim Minton for the Browns. Have Charles Sims and an eight. Have a Jeff Janis and a 10 for the Packers. Have a Jason Verrett for the Chargers and a 10. Have a Jake Matthews and a Jim and 10 for the Falcons. Have a Terrence West and a Jim and 10 for the Browns. Have a CJ Mosley and a Jim and 10 for the Ravens. Have uh, Cody Lament Lemire, Lemire for the Broncos and a Jim and Ten. Never even heard of half these people. Have another Jordan Matthews legs together version and a nine. Have a Devonte Freeman and a nine. Damian Williams and a nine for the Dolphins. Trey Millard, Millard and a Jim Mint 10 for the 49ers. Have a James White, should have been Super Bowl MVP and a Jim Mint 10. I actually had this before. I'm like, man, I'm glad I have this guy's autograph in a Jim Mint 10. So. I don't, I'm not sure what it's worth now. I know after the Super Bowl it was like 60 or 70 bucks, but sure it's come way back down since he's not even like, starting anymore I have a Michael Campanero Campanero and a Jim Min 10 I have a Garrett Gilbert and a 9 for the Rams I have Isaiah Cronwell and a 9 for the Browns lots of Browns players last but not least I have a Josh Brown and a 9 so, Cardinals. Uh, if I have one, ooh, that, uh, if you have any that you want to sell, uh, let me know. Like I said, I'm not looking really looking for like the Derek Carr or Odell Beckham or Johnny Manziel right now. Not really looking to pay like three digits for these cards. I mean, I don't see them going up much more in value and. Johnny Manziel is not even in the league anymore. Derek Carr not having the best season. And uh, ODB. ODB? <laughs> Odell Beckham's not even playing. He's injured, so. Uh, but any of the commons, if they're graded, I'm not looking for them. If they're not graded, I'll just send them in myself. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, kind of short video. Not a whole lot to really talk about them. Uh, it was just 2014 Topps Chrome was the last set that I collected a football before I stopped collecting cards. And then a couple, you know, this year started getting back into it. So had a video game phase, but, um, so thanks for watching. Check out my other showcases, uh, check out my box openings, mail days, you know, 
just go through the playlist. I got three of them. Uh, they're all great. You should watch them all. Hook me up with a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about uh, Topps Chrome. You know, the fact that it doesn't exist anymore in football era, football times anyways. And uh, have a good weekend.